Hello members of Over 60 and today we're going to be going over some exercises to improve your balance at home simply and safely while you're in this period of isolation. The first thing you want to do is get some movement through your feet. The feet are critical for balance. One of the simplest movements you can do is by coming up on your toes. And before you start any balance exercise, I do want to make sure that you've got something to hold on to and a wall behind you. Okay, that's critical. So something beside you and something behind you. So you're starting by putting the feet about shoulder width apart and coming up and down on your toes. As I said, you can have the fingertips resting on the bed, off of the chair if you feel comfortable, that makes you more, feel more comfortable with it. Or if you can, just do it without it, but just keep your hand above it. Okay, and you wanna do about 10 of those. Nice and controlled, nice and steady. Now what this is gonna do is strengthen the calf muscles in behind the shins, which are really important for your balance, but also get more movement and mobility in your ankle joints, which are really important for your balance. Okay, one more. Good. Okay, now once you've done that, that you should feel that through the back of the legs there. What I'll get you to do then is stand heel to toe. Now, this is a great exercise to do because it's gonna strengthen the stabilizing muscles of the hips, the ones side to side. Okay, definitely make sure you've got something beside you there when you're doing this. And you wanna just stare, stand nice and tall, good posture, looking ahead. Get a bit of a squeeze through the hips and buttocks as well as the core. Okay, if you feel this is, this is quite easy, start to look around. Okay, but keep that hand above there. By looking around, it makes the balance exercise more challenging. Okay. That's a really good one to do. Now, if you feel that that wasn't enough of a challenge and you want more, you can then stand on one leg. And this is a really good test of how good your balance is as well. It's been researched to show that if you can stand on one leg like this for 30 seconds, you're much less likely to have a fall. So standing on one leg. Now, when you're doing any balance exercise, you want to aim to do it for around 20 to 30 seconds total. If you need to put your foot down or put your hand down at any point, don't restart it from zero. Just take up from where you left off. If you're at 15 seconds, you just keep, when you restart, you count at 16 seconds. Okay, that's 30 on that leg. Then I'll go into the other leg. Okay. Like with the heel to toe exercise before, if you find this easy and you do want a bit more of a challenge, you can again, turn your head side to side. Obviously the ultimate challenge, and please be careful this, please don't do this if your balance is good, is closing your eyes, that's the hardest. Yep, and you can see me wobbling while I do that. It's a very difficult one to stand with one leg with your eyes closed. Okay, the last exercise you can do, and this I find is best to do in a corridor, is to walk heel to toe down the corridor. So you've got hands either side, and you can walk heel to toe like so. So there's no gap in your feet as you do that. Okay, and then turning back, and walking back again. So heel to toe down the corridor, probably taking around five to 10 steps doing that. Hope you found that helpful. As I said, please be safe doing these exercises. Please make sure the balance should be challenging, but you are controlled at all times. Thanks so much and have a great day.